So I was trying to think of the best time to do this, or when to do this, or an ideal time to do this. But let's just get it out there. And then after this video, there'll be pictures and video afterwards. For you. Feel free to watch that as well. Um, this video is obviously titled, My Walk with God and His Angels. Um, now this isn't me preaching about God for the people out there that may be agnostic or atheist or whatever. This is just my personal belief of why I walk outside versus um, instead of going to the gym anymore. Um, I haven't been to a gym in about a month. Um, I do still have memberships there. Why I pay on them, sometimes I even wonder myself. But um, why I've been going to the park so much. Uh, number one, it's very peaceful. Number two, it's uh, very calming. Three, it's let relaxing. And four, most of all, I really feel like I'm in touch with the Lord himself. I feel like I'm in touch with the angels. I can talk to anybody out there that's not around anymore. I'm able to keep all my collective thoughts in. And then when I'm out in the park, I might even be talking out loud to, you know, to the world. And what's great about it is so most of the time I'm by myself, you know. Uh, there's other people walking and uh, my favorite time is a walk out at the park or when it's either cold or it's raining and soon it'll be snow because guess what when it gets really cold outside and it's raining nobody's out there it's the best time to walk for me personally um because i'm out in the open by myself um so the non-believers out there you know this might be the part you want to turn off the video go right ahead i'm not going to tell you to you know keep watching if you don't want to hear it i totally understand um, but, um, for the believers out there and, you know, know that there has to be some kind of higher power out there, even if it isn't God, you know, if it's something else, he's out there, she's out there. Maybe you don't believe he is a God, you know, maybe it's a, she is the God, you know, whatever the case may be, let's get down to the facts here. So seven years ago, my dad got in a really bad accident. Um, he was in one of those situations that, um, he should have survived from, um, when the ambulance got to him. And actually told, I think he told my mom, he actually said, you know, your husband's lucky to be alive. They actually used the jaws of life to get him out of the car. This is what happened. Scenario is my dad was driving down M99, which is a smaller interstate, but still an interstate highway. And there's crossways of stop signs and stoplights. A semi, this is pouring down rain. Uh, I think it was like end of fall time. Pouring down rain. Summertime, it would have been summer. Anyways, pouring down rain. Semi blows through a stop sign. Doesn't stop. My dad can't stop. He's in a four-door sedan at the time. Can't stop. It's raining. He actually takes out the back axle of the trailer. Now, you could say this is coincidence, but I don't believe in coincidences. So, when the ambulance finally arrives on scene, the only thing that was still intact was exactly where my dad was sitting. Everything around the car was completely smashed. Should have been alive. That's what everybody always says. Now, did my dad survive? Hell yeah, he survived. I mean, he just kept saying, I'm not going to lay on a bed forever. I mean, he pretty much was a walking or sitting or laying cast for a very long time. I believe um, he had bruised both his rotator cuffs, which he didn't even know until he got out of the hospital. Um, I think he had uh, fractured his left elbow and left wrist, broke his left elbow, or his right elbow, or right wrist, broke his right ankle, fractured his left ankle. I believe he had four broken ribs in there. I mean, he was pretty much a walking cast. But I tell you what, he had the drive to keep moving. Um, there's many things he couldn't do, you know, and it sucked because he was like, uh, it was so hard to see my dad just, my dad was always the rock, you know, and it was so hard to see him there, you know, like just laying down all the time in the hospital. It was really, really hard time. Anyways, to get back to the God topic, so we kept praying, you know, keep praying, keep praying, because there was stuff, it was really hard for me to talk about this. Anyway, so there was stuff going on that was unthinkable, stuff that didn't make any sense to my mom, like, the lawn wasn't getting mowed, you know, because dad wasn't around, and unfortunately I was on nights, and everybody was busy, you know, that's just what happens. And um, a family from church stopped at my parents' house, and they said, hey, we're here to mow your lawn. <sighs> Try to do this without crying, guys. Anyway, so I'm here to mow your lawn. 
And uh, my mom was like, what are, you, what are you talking about? We, you know, we didn't ask you guys anyway. How do you even know that we need our lawn cut, you know? And the family said, uh, Susan, which is my mom, Susan, believe me, we know you need help and we're here to help you. My mom asked again, she said, I don't understand. How do you, how do you know we need help? Nobody knows about this, you know, like we're a, pride, we're a prideful family, okay? We don't normally ask for help. I had through prayer, that's the only way I can think about this. Through prayer, mind you, seven years ago, but through prayer, uh, the Lord answered back. And uh, his family mowed my parents' lawn for them. Like it was my mom <sighs> trying to keep it together. When my mom called me, uh, I broke down in my house. Um, I was still living here then. I had a house then. I broke down like full on, just tears, just... I just want to say thanks, God. And uh, the other thing that's going to be in here, I posted on Facebook already. I don't think I posted to my Facebook page for Addicted to Life. Is I know it's going to be a really long vlog, and I'm sorry about that. But um, I recently got a tattoo done. And uh, 10 years ago, in July, um, I've talked about this before, but um, to make a longer story, uh, I lost my best friend Chris uh, to an unforgetting unforgivable um, car accident I was there and uh, long story short he fell off the back of a tailgate not sure where he hit his head either on the pavement or the hitch or the truck bed or whatever um, and in my mind he died in my arms that day blood everywhere and uh, finally got the tattoo I wanted for him um, it is Captain Morgan, unfortunately. Guy loved the drink. And I I always think of, like, my friendship with Chris is like Adam Sandler and Chris Farley. Like, I love the drink, love the party, and Chris was just a really great guy to be around. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't make it to 23. I died at 22. I was originally going to make a... Try and do this without crying, guys. I was originally going to have, like, a whole quote put into his tattoo. From a song that wasn't around when he was. I believe it was See You Again by Wiz Khalifa. It's from Fast and Furious. I was going to totally put a huge quote in there. And I was like, how am I going to get this on there? There's no way. I'm going to have two sides of my leg tattooed. So I end up taking out the whole quote. And at the bottom of it, you'll see I put Forever Young. Uh, I'll probably put it up for like 10 seconds. That way you can really see the details of this tattoo guy got done. It was like over 300 bucks, But it was well worth it. It was a tattoo I've been wanting again since 10 years ago. And I just never really had the money to do it and uh until recently paying off my car you know kind of started saving money so yeah so i lost my best friend um in my mind like i said i believed he was pretty much dead um when the ambulance got there and unfortunately he was so bad they actually flew in a helicopter from ann arbor which i believe is 45 50 minutes from my house here um they actually flew in a helicopter in an intersection, country roads, dropped it in, picked him up. Well, we went to go to the hospital. And the worst thing was his parents weren't home, you know, and I'm not saying this wasn't the parents' fault, whatever, you know. This just shouldn't have happened to begin with. And um, nothing like your son's best friend calling you nonstop and finally having to leave a voicemail stating, hey, something happened to Chris. I don't want you to be hysterical. Just please Nick, take the nearest flight out to Ann Arbor. We need to see you. So, needless to say, they took the... On both instances, my dad and my mom, when both accidents happened, I was the rock, and I called everybody that needed to be done. Whatever needed to be done, I called everybody. Um, but family gets there. Uh, I was like a son to Chris's mom and dad. Um, they've said that to me. And... Um, I was allowed in a room with them, and the fortunate thing was, as a brain surgeon, there was like 15 doctors that came into this room, and they said, uh, long story short, uh, when we have a brain problem with a patient that comes in, they rate them from a 1 to 15. 15, oh, they're walking out the door. 1, they're not going to make it. I believe they rated Chris at a 2 or 3, so they kept, kept him on life support for a week. Because he was a gift of life patient. Um, so. 
yeah, so they kept his organs going, and they did find donors. I've never met them, but I think his mom did. He had to wait so many years to go meet them and stuff, but that's pretty cool. Finally got the tattoo done, and um, when I walk, this is totally going off subject, but when I walk at the park, I really feel whole, I guess. I feel like I can just talk to God, anything that's on my mind. I can talk to Chris. I always feel like Chris is around me. All the time. Seriously. Like he's probably sitting right here. As I'm actually. I kind of feel like he's sitting right here. As I'm sitting here talking to you guys. And I talked to Chris a lot. Um, I, was, I had a haunted house I used to live in. Really haunted. And I talked to. I reached out to the Archangels a lot. Michelangelo. And I got a lot. And I really love walking out in the park. Uh, that, that's pretty much it and you know it's I always say it's my walk with God because it just it really makes me feel like a better person walking out in the park like I just feel like his angels around me and yeah wow I'm trying to get through this without crying but anyways I took some videos um over the course of the month and some pictures of the fall uh, leaves changing. There's actually a tree right out front of uh, my apartment complex and it changes every year and I never get to take a picture of it. took a picture of it at the beginning of this week and I'm glad I did because that tree is already halfway missing its leaves. I love fall time. It's very pretty. I love snow time too but fall time is awesome because of all the colors. So um, I just wanted to share you guys an insight of why I believe in God and why I believe that I'm walking with God and his angels when I walk. And that's why I like walking out in the park. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful to me. It's very, um, I feel very whole. I feel like my heart's very taken care of when I'm out in the park. And it's, like I said, it's relaxing. It's just very calming to walk out there. And when I walk out in the rain, 10 times better. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Like, I did a full lap yesterday. I didn't walk today. Very busy at work. And I just wanted to come home and do this video for you guys. But, um, I know it's a really long vlog. I'm looking at 12 minutes now. But, I, yeah, it's just, more or less, I just love walking outside. When it rains, it doesn't feel like I've actually walked. I walked a full lap, which is 1.3 miles yesterday. I was like, you know what? We're going to keep walking. The funny thing is, when I first started walking, it was like, it was raining. Like a light rain, nothing too great. By the time I got to that second lap, torrential downpour. And at that point, I was like, well, I'm already soaked. Let's keep walking. And I would have done another lap, but I was like, starting to get cold. Because I was like, soaked through two coats. So, but anyways, uh, those videos and pictures after this of fall time and walking out in the rain and just enjoying nature. So... I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and also liked it, subscribe. No big deal. If you don't, I love the support anyways. And um, I'll see you guys later. God bless. Peace.